Hello everyone, I'm Lauren. I'm a certified personal trainer and today I'm going to be talking about the Chloe Ting challenge. Now I'm sure you've seen so many amazing before and after pictures. This is a two week shred program and all these girls are posting pictures of having these super defined abs and losing so much weight in 14 days and losing all these inches off their body. And if you're thinking, hmm, is that possible? Am I gonna lose weight in 14 days? How many calories am I even going to burn during this program? I'm gonna answer all those questions for you in this video. So in order to lose weight, like a lot of these girls are doing through the Chloe Ting program, you need to have a calorie deficit. And you may be thinking, okay, what does that mean? And that means that you have to burn more calories than you are consuming. So if you're eating 2,000 calories a day, you would have to burn more than 2,000 calories each day through both workouts and just you have your resting metabolic rate. And this means how many calories you are, you are going to burn if you literally just sat still all day. Like this. You would still burn a good amount of calories. For me, I believe my resting rate is about 1,300 calories a day. And then I will also have to burn calories on top of that through movement and through workouts in order to burn more if I was looking to lose weight. So if you're looking to lose weight, lose inches off your waist, and get those abs that Chloe Ting promises, you need to know how many calories you're burning through the Chloe Ting workouts, and I'm here to answer those questions for you. We are now on my laptop, and so I'm showing you the Chloe Ting workout program. So it looks like this, if you're not familiar. And so day one are these two videos. And if you look here, you can see it's 23 minutes in total, which is not a lot of time to burn calories. So now we're going to go to my Fitbit dashboard, which is how I log how many calories I burn. So here's my dashboard, um, in case you're not familiar with what Fitbit looks like. And here are all my recent workouts. So I began this on April 18th. So here we are on April 18th when I did this program for the first time. However, I did add on 10 minutes at the end because I didn't feel like I personally had burnt enough calories. So this is throughout the entire thing. And you can see that these are my cardio zones. So this is when I am above the target heart rate. And it means that I, in these zones, I'm going to be doing the most cardio and I'm going to be burning the most fat. I am also in a fat burn zone when it's this color, this lighter color. So I was in fat burn most of the time. However, I did not hit a peak, which means that I was not pushing myself to the highest capabilities that I have, um, so the program did not do that. So this says 36 minutes, and this says I burned 235 calories. So like I said, I added in 10 minutes at the end of additional workouts because I didn't burn enough calories. So that's day one. Okay. Now we're going to go to day two. So day two was April 19th. And day two, day two for Chloe Tang is these three videos. Now this one's optional, but I did do it. So I did three workouts, so I did 33 minutes. And here's the breakdown for that day. So you can see here my heart rate. My heart rate is steadily increasing and it's remaining in that cardio and fat burn zone for almost the entirety of the workout. So she did a good job of getting my heart rate high and I burned 218 calories that day. Now we're going to go to day three. Day three of Chloe Tang's challenge is four videos. These four, and it's 45 minutes. This was by far the hardest day so far. Um, so we're going to go here. This is April 20th. So you can see here, I was burning a ton of calories this whole time because my heart rate was high this entire time. This one was a lot longer. It actually took me 53 minutes to do because she offers optional breaks, which I did end up taking. My average heart rate was 149 beats per minute, which is really good for a workout, and I burned exactly 400 calories. In the program, most days there's between two, three, and four. So that's why I'm not gonna go through every single day because it is repetitive. So you saw that on the first day, I did not burn very many calories because there's only two videos. I burned around 200. The second day, again, it didn't burn quite as many. Fourth day, I burned a ton. There was four high intensity videos. I burned 400 calories. And now back to the fourth day. Fourth day was today and there were three videos. Do this every day to lose weight. You're gonna end up doing that every day. Abs in two weeks, you're gonna end up doing this one every day. And then core and arms, which is not quite every day. 
So today I worked out and I burned with these three videos only 232 calories. So you can see here my heart rate was pretty high the whole time, but not quite as high as it needed to be to really get that full fat burn and calorie burn in. If you think about this, we can just go to my dashboard now for me and just for me, I weigh about 135 pounds and I am a woman and I am five foot six inches tall. So all of these things contribute to my daily stats. So you can see here, I've only burned about 1,450 calories today. So that includes both my resting metabolic rate, as I talked about previously, and the calories I burned from walking around and from doing this workout. If you have a desk job or if you don't walk around very much, then this for you is going to be significantly lower than someone who is running around all day. So you're going to need to burn a lot more calories in order to have that calorie deficit that you want. And so if you're looking into the Chloe Ting Shred program, like I said, most days you're only gonna burn about 200 calories if you have a similar body and similar weight to me. Of course, this changes. If you are a larger person, you're going to burn more calories. If you're a man, you're gonna burn more calories. Or if you're able to push yourself more than me, you're going to burn more calories. But just general, generally speaking, for someone who looks like Chloe Ting or just for someone who is very average weight and height like I am, you're only going to burn about 200 or 300 calories, 400 max, which may not be enough to get that calorie deficit to lose the weight that you want to lose. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe down below. It would mean a lot to me and hit that like button and feel free to comment any questions you may have about this workout or about other workout programs. I've done so many of them so that you don't have to, so I can post a review and you can figure out which is the best for you. So check out my other videos. I have one about the Kayla Itzina's BPG program. I have one about the Kelsey Wells power program. And I'm coming out with a video soon that is a review of this program, not just how many calories you burn. So stay tuned for that. And please let me know if you have any questions at all. I'm happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.